Chris, say hi, you're live. Hello. Yeah, I'm streaming. Well, I'm on YouTube. I'm streaming to Renato of Acevedo. Okay. Hi, Renato. I hope you're well. He has. He's on the let chat. He's not actually. He, he doesn't have a mic, or he doesn't want to turn on his mic. Oh yeah, I know. Because he's like a CIA asset. No, I'm kidding. Well, he doesn't uh, want to. He doesn't want to say where he lives either. So I guess he's very private and secret. Is uh, secretive. So. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. More people should be private. He just tells me he lives uh, in. He just tells me he lives in the south. That's all I know. And I mean, I'm and I'm thinking South America. I, I'm pretty sure he lives in Antarctica, though. Like that's. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he lives there. He's like, well, it's like that's where they launched the aircraft, the you know, spaceships to go to our moon base. Yep. Oh. But up, but up. Yeah, right now doing a Mega Man X track. I'm kind of polishing it now because my last version was pretty, well, I'm quoting Gordon Ramsay raw. So, you know. Wait, did you say Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. Are you talking about the Gordon Ramsay who does... Kitchen Nightmares, yeah. That dude. Yeah, that. Okay. Yep. Me and Renato have a thing of using cooking terms for our, you know, when, when I do my remasters. Like, if it doesn't sound oh, good, is it, if, if it doesn't sound good, it's raw. But if it sounds really good, then it's well done. And in between, it's like, well, you know, medium rare and stuff, you know, stuff like that. You get it, right? Uh, yes, I think so. The quality of the music, we use cooking terms. Oh, this is going to be a fun track. Where's Renato? Oh, there's Renato. Sigma Fortress 4? I'm not on Sigma Fortress 4, I'm on Spark Mandrill. Oh yeah, he's delayed. Daily reminder that DirectX 10 was a scam. It literally was. Because they abandoned it in like less than a year and went to DirectX 11. Yep. It was it was just a scam to get people on their trash when uh, Vista. I want everything to run on Vulcan. Uh. That's AMD's uh thing, right? That, no, it's not. Uh, Vulcan is new is um complete. The, um, I think it's open source. I'm not sure if it's open. Yeah, it is open source. No. Hmm. Uh, it, it's, I don't know if it's open source or not, but it's got really, really good parallel, uh, like, parallelism or whatever, parallel computing. Uh, it was derived from AMD's Mantle API, but Mantle's dead. Like, it's not being developed anymore. I, I don't think it is. Right. Uh, um, uh, yeah, it has been discontinued. But Vulcan is better because Vulcan can work on anything. Uh, it's got very low overhead. Uh, I think DirectX 12 has more overhead. The DirectX 12 does seem to perform better than DirectX 11. Um, but I just want everything to run on Vulcan. Uh, this, this whole DirectX it, it's just basically a scam to get to keep things on Windows. Yeah. It really was, because 
Microsoft could easily have just supported OpenGL, but they didn't. Uh, they, they, they made their own API uh, for dubious... They've got this thing called um, like Window, uh, Windows Layer for Linux or something. Yeah. You can apparently actually run uh, DirectX 12 on Linux, but not properly. It's so I still think, I think Renato's saying, I don't know, I posted a link so you can read what he's saying. He's saying something about an API AMD card to run excellent with that. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's true. He's right. Yep. That's true. They do, uh, I think that NVIDIA has caught up. I think, I think it's, um, I think that NVIDIA caught up with their RTX. Yeah, I'm like wondering, okay, we need, you know, we need more. Anything new about NVIDIA's new GPUs? Not NVIDIA, AMD, I meant. AMD usually invents everything new, and then NVIDIA rips it off. Uh, like, DLSS and ray tracing are kind of fucky the trend to a degree, but... I think they've caught up with Vulcan as well. Like... Right. Uh... I really, really, it, I do think that the that the next the cards coming out from Nvidia are going to, or sorry, AMD are going to be more competitive with uh, Nvidia. The ones coming out at the end of this year. I see. I, I read what you wrote, Renato. Uh, I don't think I've heard of, of either of them. I'm sure it's modified EX. Wait, is it click one? I don't know. I know that. I don't really look like it game much. Oh man, it, it games were classic. They are classic. That's true. Um, I kind of like Quake a little bit. But Quake really doesn't have, like, Quake 1, I don't like. Quake 3 is just a multiplayer game. Quake 2 is kind of interesting, and Quake 4 is kind of interesting. Uh, I really wish Quake Wars was a single-player game and not a shitty multiplayer game. Because oh, yeah. I really like Quake Wars. I really did. I thought it was really cool. We never had a Quake a single player after Quake 4 ever. And yeah, that's kind of a shame. Yeah. Um. Those are source ports of Quake, Quake 1. Okay. Um. Quake 4 is a sequel to Quake 2. Um. And Quake Wars is a prequel to Quake 2. I wish... I think the soundtrack is good for both those games. Though the official soundtrack release of Eternal, I guess, is kind of a joke. I really like Nick Gordon's music, although he's being an asshole lately. Hey. <laughs> He's now called Lazy Synth Gordon or something like that. Make Lazy wow. Synth Gordon. <laughs> That's funny. It's too bad Mighty Number no. Nine turned out to be mediocre. I know, right? I was expecting it to be like a successor to Mega Man or something, but it that turned out to be. That was the idea. That was yeah. the idea because basically Capcom had done nothing with Mega Man forever. Right. Um, well, then we have Mega Man Eleven, but that didn't really edit. I wasn't really too impressed by that. The music sucked. It didn't. It wasn't. It didn't have that. Well, Mega Man Eleven 
wasn't even out by the time that Mighty Number no. Nine came out. Yeah. I I wasn't really that I wasn't interested in Mighty Number no. Nine, but I wanted it to do really well because I wanted an alternative. I always I always think you should have alternative options for beloved franchises. Right. Bloodstain seems decent. Because you can't you can't rely on on these companies to you know I mean well I know you disagree with me but I'm very displeased with what they're doing with Resident Evil. I mean I'm displeased since Resident Evil Four, but even Resident Evil Four I could accept. Resident Evil Seven I don't think is legit. Resident Evil Two remake I think is excellent. Resident Evil Three remake I think is not very good. I, I think they have a retarded art direction. They made the Nemesis look retarded. They made Jill not look like the Jill we all know and love from Resident Evil 1 Remake and like all the other games except for... Except for the... I mean, look, the PlayStation 1 game doesn't count. Every other game with Jill Valentine, she's got Julia Voth as her face. And... They've got Nemesis with long, weird teeth, a crooked nose, and a track pad. It was much better than the original. And, and most of the game is linear. Like, when you see... I, I love Mr. X uh, uh, in, in Resident Evil 2. But in Resident Evil 3, like, the only interesting sort of semi-non-linear part is the first part. Where, you, you know, the beginning of the game. Where you're being chased and fun. And the rest is totally scripted. And I get that originally it was scripted, but it wasn't entirely scripted. It was partially random. They actually did introduce a non-linear element to um, Resident Evil 3, the original. They also made Resident Evil 3 too action-y. Even, I know the original was also more action-y than Resident Evil the original of 2, but even still, like, it wasn't as... Basically, an action game for Resident Evil. I don't know. I, I was just disappointed because I was absolutely thrilled with the Resident Evil 2 remake. In every way, I think it's very faithful. Uh, even the art direction is very faithful to the original. My, I yeah, disagree with the soundtrack, and I disagree with the. Um, yeah, I disagree with. I disagree with the fact that it's not like a tank rolls, but they're never gonna do that again. Like I doubt it. They might, but if they do, it'll be years. I mean, I don't mind the first camera like angles, but the controls. Go ahead. Like, yeah, keep the yeah. I like okay. the fixed camera angles, but the you know the tank controls and stuff. I, I kind of you know like do it like the first remake that they did where they had classic and tank controls. I mean cl classic oh, and then no, modern. No, no. You know. Right. Oh. Okay. Uh, the first remake. You mean Resident Evil One remake? Yeah. Oh, I agree with you. It does. Okay. It doesn't have to actually be tank controls. I want the fixed camera, and you know, like tank controls are fine. But, uh, oh, oh, I see what you mean. I call Mick Gordon... <laughs> I, I, call, I call Mick Gordon that because I don't use the low-pitched guitars. I don't, I don't like the use of low-pitched guitars. It just sounds like crappy synth. Dubstep-like sounds. What he did okay, for the I, Killer I Instinct. Kind of does. Go ahead. What he did with the Killer Instinct remake thing, I thought he was gonna do like the more ninety type, of, the nineties, the you know the nineties feel with the theme, but it actually turned out to be like more metal dubstep type, you know, which, you know, kind of a little disappointing. But you know, with Microsoft, think, they want. I think the Killer Instinct soundtrack is his best one. I think it's better yeah. than new. Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. I thought so too. But the theme, it's you know, it doesn't have that night. It doesn't. The theme doesn't have that nineties feel. That's my only main gripe. But, you know, Microsoft, they want to cater to, like, the new crowd and shit like that. So, you know. But, I don't even, I don't really like bass that much, right now. I know everyone's like, big bass, but, yeah, it doesn't, I don't, 
I don't. It's not. It's okay, but I don't like excessive noise. <laughs> and flies on a song. Yes, there's a song in Doom. Flies Doom on a there's a song in Doom Eternal where, um, you know, there's there's a song in Doom Eternal where if you listen very closely, you can hear like like a fly or something singing along oh, or something. Oh, okay. Well, I've actually only listened to the first the Doom 2016 soundtrack. I assume that the Doom 2000, the the that Eternal is basically the same. Uh, but maybe it's it's not. I mean, I know the official soundtrack release is crap. Uh. Um, but yep. I don't know if it's a stick itself. That's the problem. I mean, I, I know Renato thinks that. I understand the criticism, though. Like, I understand the, the low sounding guitars that sound synthy. But I like that sound. I think it works. Uh, yeah. In some songs, it does work. In some other songs, you know, it just depends. Some of them, it doesn't. Okay. At least for, you know. Why you slice with something that isn't a swamp? That's just annoying. It reminds me of how I had to kill a bunch of people during a uh, very hot day. Well, confirmed you live in South America. We figured it out. <laughs> Which is a big ass place. We're definitely not going to find you because South America is huge. So, uh, I don't know. It's a joke. It doesn't matter. You can live in. ADF for all I care. You can live in Antarctica. I think you, I still think you live in Antarctica. Uh, on a, in a secret base run by the CIA. Yeah, he um, does. That's a, you know, obviously, not a good one. Um, Doomsgate, not the elevator one, though. I still have my length. Two thousand six sounds like that. Two thousand sixteen. Well, I, I understand. Like, it kind of does, and I don't really like dubstep. Some dubstep maybe, but I can't name any dubstep songs I like. I've heard dubstep I like, but in general, I'm not a fan of dubstep. I think I got the right pitch. Let's see. No. See, Xavier is all about having the 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 correct pitch, the having the correct pitch as much as possible. Oh, I don't know why the fuck I'm so hot. It's actually cold in the basement here because you know it's surrounded by dirt and cement. Oh, you've got a basement? It's yeah. Florida. Florida doesn't have basements. Uh, uh I, oh, I'm still yeah, in that's Iowa. Right. You're news, in Iowa right now. New, I new, about that. News flash, I'm in Iowa still, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's right. Basement was your room for a while. Yeah. Oh, no. Except as the boomers neutralized. Yep. Uh, here, I'm gonna start viewing racial epithets in order to get you banned. No, I'm kidding. That's awful. <laughs> that's not nice. People do that too. Like, I, that's what one of the. I know people. People will like sense. Um, because some some live streamers use like uh, text to speech. And they'll like send, they'll, they'll, they'll spam like the most obscene stuff they can possibly imagine, specifically to like get get the, get the algorithm yeah. to take it down. Yeah. Which is really mean. It's really mean, but it's funny. Yep. I know I shouldn't laugh. Like... Oh. There, there's, if you've ever watched, I don't know if you've ever seen it, you probably haven't, but if you've ever seen the ghost show, Renat. No, it used to be called True Capitalist Radio, which is basically just a comedy show by uh, by uh, a Gen Xer LARPing, pretending to be 
pretending to be like a, a, a grumpy old boomer Vietnam veteran. It, that, it, he doesn't actually talk about Vietnam, he just sort of grolls with it. But yeah, he's. He, he, he literally has like dozens of beer cans on his desk where he'll go, ah! and he starts screaming around and like you can hear the beer the beer cans just sort of flopping like hitting each other and um and people I hate eternal got rid of the quad damage sound. I have no idea what that sound is actually. I might know, I'm not sure. I only played the first but I haven't played it in years. And so, yeah, so pe people would send, um, because if you pay X amount of money in a super chat or whatever, go watch a video, you know, uh, at least on kind a of Saturday stream. And people would send in videos that they know are very likely to get copyrights from. There's what they sent, people would send, like, Evangelion videos, because for some because I like, guess the company that owns Evangelion will strike the... And that's what happened. What? At least one time, probably multiple times. It's like, it's funny. Uh, uh, like he sells drugs. It's not like he does, it's not like he's not asking for it. He says things that he knows are gonna get him trolled. Let me look it up. Quad damage. Quad damage. Okay, so there's no delay on that vibrato. Okay, I found, found it. Oh, okay, I heard it. Well, there's different variations. There's a video called History of Quad damage. I remember that. I know that name. Oh, Nine Inch Nails. Okay. I never listened to them. The only song I know about them from them is Hurt. Uh, and that's just because Johnny Cash did a cover on before he died. He's amazing. He did a great job. Uh, I don't necessarily know if Nine Inch Nails is something I would listen to. Because I think Nine Inch Nails are references to the nails that Christ was crucified upon. And I don't know if it necessarily meant as an insult or something. It might be, I don't know. That's the reason why you don't listen to Nine Inch Nails, Chris? No, that's not the reason. Oh. <laughs> I'm just, that, that's not specifically the reason. I'm just under the impression they're really edgy. Uh, well, like, like okay, most, I, like I, most I early 90s uh, bands. That's true. But I I don't listen to I don't listen to Marilyn Man, for example. I used to listen to him back in high school, but not really anymore. The edgiest band I I I, I listen to I have listened to them forever might be Paradise Lost. And basically all the time they're just like religion sucks. That's basically what their songs are really about. They have a really good sound though. Reptile, which is what I always thought. Reptile? I don't know what he means by that. I don't know if Reptile is a band or, or what. I'll look it up. Reptile. Well, I know what a reptile was. I'll type in band. Google it. Oh, it is a band. Okay. It's an Icelandic band from label Bad Tape. That's funny. Oh, that's cool. Marimba, saxophone, banjo, violin. I like that when they mix metal with instruments. I generally the, the, the kind of metal I like generally is like not very hard metal. I don't even know a lot of metal. I don't didn't even don't even know if it's considered metal. They call themselves metal. Um, I'm trying to think of an example. 
I mean, is Sabaton metal? Uh, I used to listen to uh, uh, Nightwish all the time, but Nightwish has like bad memories. Um, Why bad, bad memories? memories but, no, 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 it's not bad. Memories, bad associations. Just, like, uh, so because it reminds me of a girl I used to like. Oh, basically. okay. It's it's, it's 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 a long time ago, but it's she's the one who introduced me to the the band, and so it just I don't want to. It bothers me. I wish I could get over it. I mean, I am over it, but just hearing the songs bother me. I don't... Stupid. That was the... was the Nine Inch Nails song and March of the Pigs guitar. Very similar to the one. Wakes. Okay, quick one's the... Ooh, I found another song that uses that saw wave thingy from opening from X3, Renato. Um, okay, so where is it? Since. Oh, Octave saw it, yeah. Have you noticed some movies aren't edgy anymore at all? I mean, they can be kind of edgy, but yeah, not really. Yeah, I noticed that. Like, all the movies in the 90s, and I don't, this, I don't really like nudity in movies. I think it's just distracting. I don't hate it, I just don't particularly care for it. But I've noticed that, like, movies don't have nudity anymore. Uh, and I think the reason for that is that they just, there's a couple of reasons. One of them is that uh, they want, every, every company wants to get their practical movies in China. Uh, which is stupid. Those machinery sound. Okay. So we're not the same. Uh... I, I just I just assume that that people who listen to industrial are like all a bunch of um, crazy, like kill everyone. No, I'm kidding. I don't. That's not true at all. I'm joking. It's like you. It's a joke. You assume they're all like crazy murderers or something. I don't know. It, it's a shitty joke. Oh. It's like, yeah, I am German, and I, I, I take Pervitin all day and listen to Ramchak. <laughs> I, I want... Oh, wait, I can't make that joke. Never mind. I was gonna... I forgot. I'm live. That would be rude. I don't want the algorithm to molest you. Hmm. I've got a really bad joke. You know how the internet, the internet was invented by an Al Gore rhythm. Ha, ha, ha Oh ha. no. Yeah, that's one of those jokes that you, that if you were near me, I would deserve to be snacked for that joke. <laughs> Mario's Revenge. Dude. Mario's Revenge. Yeah. It's kind of industrial. It's kind of industrial. Okay, here's industrial. Like the quintessential example. Uh, Romstein. Romstein. I don't think Ron Stevens is very good, to be honest. Um, they, they have a similar sound. Romstein is harsher, though. Like, if you don't like... I'm going by Doom 2016, because I don't know what Doom... I haven't listened to Eternal soundtrack. But if you don't like Doom 2016, you probably hate Ron. And I actually don't like Romstein. Um, they have a very harsh sound. It's not, it's not, it's not a screaming, they don't scream, uh, but the, 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 the guitar and the, the electronic sounds are very harsh. I don't really like industrial that much, really. Uh, it's not necessarily that, I don't dislike it, I just... 
a lot of the times it's just too harsh for me. And, and and I think I think I get what you're saying, Renato, because like a lot of industrial, the, the sound is so harsh that you don't really get to enjoy the music as much. Like the harshness of it, it's like almost like it it makes the, the music simplified because you don't hear as a wide diversity, a, a wide range of sound. The sort of the, the the harsh sort of almost like metal sound, like literally. I don't mean metal as in metal music. I mean metal as in like literally metal sounding guitar is just distract from any other sound in there. That's what I think, at least. So if that's what you're getting at, I think I agree with you. Maybe not on June 2016, but the premise I agree. With. See, now Renato can't say my stuff is raw now because I got rid of all the raw stuff. You know, basically, in musical terms, it means you're just you're like a noob, you know, you're starting out, you're like still a noob. You know what I noticed something? They never, I mean, they never released a proper soundtrack for the only good Wolfenstein game, the, the reboot, the first one. And it's no, just some of the like. No, they never did. No, they never did. It's like, I, it, it declared, share some of the blame for not allowing guitars at first. Oh, yeah? I see. I don't know why they do that. I, I believe you. Uh, I just don't know why they do that. Yeah, I, I don't get it either. I don't know what. Um, but yeah, and the reason why they didn't release a proper Wolfenstein, the first one, the actual one that's good, because the second one is stupid and Youngblood is complete trash, uh, is, the, is uh, because a lot of those sequences are just used in Doom 2016. They literally... Like, Mick Gordon took a bunch of the music and, like, rearranged it for Doom 2016. RTCW. What's that? Return of Castle Wolfenstein. Oh, that was a good game. No, no, no. no. Oh, yeah, Return of Castle Wolfenstein was great. But I did like the one from 2014. Yeah, that was a good one. Return it... from West Castle Wolfenstein is a classic, though. That's great.
the new gloss this is SGW. Uh, it, which one is the new Colossus? Is that the one that came out like last year? No, the new Colossus came out 2017, which I actually didn't mind that game at all. I mean, it. I like the soundtrack and everything. Um, you know, Wait, it wasn't it? bad. No. I thought. I thought the the. It was 2014. No, 2014 was the the new order, and then the new Colossus, oh, the smart. sequel to it. The new order was good. Yeah. But they inserted a bunch of retarded forced politics into, at least it seems that way, because I never played it, into Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. The young... Oh, boy. That's a (laughs) naughty word, (laughs) Renato. Young cunt. (laughs) Uh, Oh. Okay, you you said it, dude. If, you, if your stream gets banned, it's not my fault. Hey, the um, I said I put the thing that it's not for children, so they can't do anything. Oh, okay. Well, actually, they can do whatever they want. YouTube is a scumbag company. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me reset the automation. We really need to federalize the first one. Um. Um, Renato, because I assume you're not American, the First Amendment is the constitutional amendment that uh, provides for protection of, of speech, protection of free speech. Uh, yeah, New Colossus just was just based on the trailers and stuff I saw on YouTube. Looks really disappointing. Um, I mean, it's more campy than the New Order. The New Order was good. Like the atmosphere was designed perfectly. It's got a really good prologue. Uh, the cool, the coolest. And of course there's a moon base, and there was funny-ass humor in it, too. Like, if you read the newspapers in the game, there's, there's a, it's morbid humor, but it's actually interesting. Where it says, uh, you know, when we nuked Manhattan, millions of lives were saved. It's the same, uh, I think I agree with, uh, Renato. Yeah, New Order was good. Uh, but yeah, and it says millions of lives were saved because we nuked York, which is basically a, a joke. I haven't played Old Blood. I, I beat New Order and everything. I don't know. It's just... Uh, but yeah, the joke was basically about that the kind of somewhat retarded argument, not entirely baseless, but mostly baseless, argument that the US military used in dumping the bo- the atomic bombs on Japan which is it was it would kill more people to invade Japan that might be true but i don't think that's ever been proven and and it wouldn't, it's not really necessary for, it wasn't necessary for the United States to invade Japan. They were already beaten and poor and basically surrounded. All you gotta do is convince them to surrender. And obviously, the bombs did that, but that's not a good way to do it. New Colossus SJW material, like I said, I didn't care for it. Too long got to change the series because comedic ones. Well, I agree with you on New Colossus. I think the New Order is good. Um, it's retarded when they do... You make They make something good, and they make a sequel to it, which sucks. And it, then it ruins your... It ruins your ability to enjoy the first game. It doesn't matter what franchise. 
like in this case it's Wolfstein, but I don't know. I mean me, I didn't look for I SJW also... stuff so and do classes, so I you know, I I just enjoyed it for what it well, is, really. I... I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's, you yeah, you but, might you might call me a simp or a normie, but that's how it is, basically. You know. Uh, no, there's nothing wrong with being a normie. Uh, or based or whatever you want to say. Well, based is not be is by default not being a normie. Uh, um, but being a normie is fine. It just sucks. It just sucks for us people who aren't normal, because I'm not normal. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> normal, it's like, well, it sucks because we, 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 like, we enjoy, like, the finer details of games, and it doesn't really bother Robbie's, that's, that but sounds, it bothers us. That sounds so British. I enjoy the finer details. Oh, oh I enjoy the finer details. Pretty posh. Pretty posh, posh. I didn't. Bloody I never hell, played mate. Youngblood. I know it's terrible. Like it's objectively it is, awful. It it is bad actually. I played it and it's more like an art. It's more like art RPG ish type, you know. And it's not even a full single player campaign. It's, it's more like, like, like Borderlands, right? It's just it's, it's more like offshoot. Although it's, it's it's worse than Borderlands, and I enjoyed Borderlands. It's that doesn't even compare to Borderlands. I don't. I don't like looter shooters in general. Looter shooter. I'm not saying you shouldn't play them, I'm just saying I don't like them. Oh, I love those guitars. Holy shit. Let me turn the, let me turn the sound on on the stream so I can hear. DW, I give Young Blood a one out of five. I think ninety nine percent of of all gamers agree with you. Uh, I, I, it's sold like shit. I'm pretty sure, and it deserves to sell like shit because it is shit. What was up? I was rushing the uh, saw wave synth thingy. Oh, Xavier, you said they supposedly fixed Last of Us 2, but I didn't see anything in the PlayStation 5 event about that. I never said they fixed Last of Us 2. Oh. Oh, so why did, why did you say that earlier, though? No, said... I was... What did I say? Hmm. One second. Remember, the game's not even out yet. Something about the ending. The ending, oh, I don't... Oh, he must have been talking about something else. That I... I could have sworn... Let me scroll up, because I could have sworn I knew... Okay, they they revealed it and it did kind of get it better, get better in the end. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh no, I was talking about the um the PS5 itself. Like they were, you know, they revealed oh, it. Okay. And the stream got, you know, the real wheels got more. You know, the stream was the event was more. Uh, how do I say it? It improved a bit over the content they were showing because at first they were just showing, and they were still showing, you know, this gay kid stuff and shit like that, you know. So yeah. What? Yeah, they were showing those, you know, those kids games and stuff. Those, you know, like playing. Oh yeah, I actually like some of those. Um, I like to at least I like the one that's got sort of like the the. The the girl 
I don't know if she had a bow and arrow, but she's sort of in this mystical, magical forest. Oh, are you talking it's about? Are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, you're talking about Project that Project Athia, whatever it's called. No, or are, you, are you talking no. about Horizon? Uh, no. Okay, maybe it might be Project Agatha. I think it might be Agatha. Project. Yeah. Let me. Or, or it actually looked really nice. I love those fairy tale type things. Uh, Project. I'm gonna see if. It, let me see if that's the one that I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, I think it's not Project Agatha. I think it's something else, like Ath. Ath Athia. Project Ag Athia. Athia, yeah. Uh, yeah, hang on. I'm looking it up to see if that's it. No, it's not Project Project Athia does look awesome, awesome, by the way. But actually, it's not that. That is cool, though. Um, the Ghost Wire Tokyo looked awesome. That but did look good. It, it, that did look interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like it's sort of like um, I think it's basically like urban legends, Japanese urban legends. What it's so it's almost like SCP or something, but like the Japanese version makes it better. DW was the guy who trashed June 2016. Both his, both his my thoughts on and his review to the uh, five over one salty new dude thing. Okay, so apparently this song did not use strings. I thought it used strings, but apparently it didn't. Project Athlete is impossible. I'm trying to find the other. I think probably the one I'm most interested in is probably go with Squire Tokyo. I actually didn't find that much interesting. So, um, trying to find PS5. Yeah. I've, I've grown a real fondness for. I don't want to say kids' games because they're often kind of kid for kids to an extent, but. Um, anyway. But, like, stuff like Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch, I've only played it a bit. Because it, my PlayStation 3 kept crashing on it. It, it, wouldn't, it would freeze, rather. Um, well, there are um, strings in here. Okay. I'm trying to find the link, or what the name of the game is. Add the vibrato, by the way, he said. How much had the vibrato? Um, he, oh, I already did add it on the guitars, so uh, I, think it's, I think that's what he's talking about. Unless there's another instrument that needs vibrato. Uh, okay, I found a list on... Oh, jeez, it's long. Uh, gothic remake. Are we making gothic? Jeez, okay. Lord of the Rings Golem. Okay, that one's kind of it. That might be it. Uh, World, no. Pragmata, no. Well, let me see. That might be No, that's not it. Oh. oh by the way, Chris, if you um if you mention if you somehow manage to randomly mention avocados, don't do it because you'll troll Renato unintentionally. Why? He doesn't like avocados? He hates avocados. Anything green, he hates avocados, so it's like it's like well, I agree. it's like kryptonite. Avocado is nasty. <laughs> it's like kryptonite. <laughs> I used to watch him, oh, sometimes, not very often. Super shotgun sound, it sounds like everyone throwing 
Oh yeah, he, the super shotgun sound and I think in Doom did not sound good. The sound effects, you know, the of the gun sounds, they didn't sound, you know, punchy enough, basically. You guys are really in tune with the sounds. Yeah. Well, I don't know how I don't I don't know how Renato got into it, but you know, basically we met we met on Sam's streams, basically. So yeah. Ugh. I'm trying to find the damn name of the game. Can't find it because I'm dumb. Set anus creed Valhalla suck because anus creed sucks in general. Destiny two, definitely. Dying Light two. Oh yeah, I want to play that. Remember the first Dying Light we both played? Yes, we played the co-op. It was fucking fun. Yep. That was awesome. Hope that like two has games for the most part. Hope that like two has cops and maybe, maybe me and you can you and Chris can play it. Oh right. yeah, we can absolutely. Play it. I'm pretty sure it will. I would be surprised if they. I would be surprised if they if they didn't. It would be retarded. Uh, I better check the chat. 2016 and eternal sounds are just weak. Explosion sound might as well not exist. Because the sound itself is soft. And on top of that, the volume was really low. I don't really have much of, I don't really have Spell of Queens on it, I haven't played it in years. Uh, and I didn't beat the game. I didn't it was okay. Okay, so now for the hard part. The percussion. I know that's Renato's favorite part. He's like... He's like... I don't want this percussion to sound raw. Uh, <laughs> the hell, Chris? Okay, it's, it's not on this list. That's why I'm not on my Instead of the boomers, they're, they're, they're porting Demon Souls to the PS5. Oh, that was a port? I thought it was an original game. So I'm not into the Demon Souls things. No, it's not an original. I mean, it is an original. It's owned by Stone. Oh, and you know what? Me and a lot of people were waiting for a Grand Theft Auto 6 reveal. You know what he did? They revealed a Grand Theft Auto 5 remaster for the PS5, as if we didn't have one for the PC version already. Are you kidding me? You know? Are you kidding me? Yep. It's like, where's Grand Theft Auto 6? Are they gonna finally reveal it? No, we're to give you another remaster. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't... I, I get it. I understand why it pisses people off. 
I, I, I don't really care that much about Grand Theft Auto, uh, but I mean, I understand people get pissed because they don't actually give you. It's, like, it's, not, it's not even a remaster; it's a port. Yeah. It's like you know. It's like you know GTA Six is is potential for is is a great potential for the PS Five, you know, and they're gonna. Yes. Wasted on a port, really? Perfecto. But what are these notes right here? Copy this whole entire automation. See what Renato is saying. <laughs> that guy sounds like he's coming from a cave. Do you mean Chris? Or do you mean a sample? Uh, I do live in a cave, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find... There's a game called The Pathless that was the same PS4. But I don't see it actually on PS4. Those bastards, no, they didn't actually... Oh, I didn't copy the automation. There we go. Okay, this... What'd you clap? 
Mm. I didn't. That was the sound of my water bottle. Make oh. stupid plastic sounds. Yeah. Uh. Let's Oh, hey, Renato, at least this song uses the regular snare this time instead of that weird high-pitched one. Oh, that's uh... <laughs> Just waiting for the volume wars. Yep. Good old volume wars. Kick.
Okay, I might be able to find the name of the game. Because every game, every game, um, uh, man. Oh! Okay. I think it's Kenna, Bridge of the Spirits. Uh, yeah. I think that. It is. That's it. Oh, that's cool. It looks cool. I like it. There we go. Oh no. What happened? Uh, no, nothing. Nothing in particular to me. I Corona. I Corona. Ebola Chan is back. Wait, really? Yep, it's been not good news. So, what is she now? Is she now Corona Chan, or is she still Ebola? Chan? Oh, it's just it's just <laughs> Congo, Congo. There's two Congo countries, Congo area, somewhere around there, back. Unfortunately, it sucks. I hope those people. Yeah, that sucks. I thought you. Meant, I, I thought you. I, but I thought you meant like the meme is back for coronavirus now, which I'm not surprised that they make another oh, really? one. No, well, Corona Chan is, but uh, but Ebola Chan. I remember that it was a meme. Yeah. Wait, there's uh, actually a Corona Chan meme now, or no? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh shit! Wow. Yeah, there's yeah, just Google Corona Chan, you'll find it everywhere. Yeah, I'll Google it later. Um, there's Corona Chan fan art, which is what's retarded, but. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, this video was too long time. I gotta look for that Tom. And no, I don't mean Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry's ice cream. Which is literally made in inner cat rats. Oh! You mean Ben and Jerry's ice cream? Yeah, it's a joke. It's an awful joke. It's a joke I deserve to be slapped for. Oh no. This kick sounds weird. A kick? That's yeah, the like kick. the misspelling when you're trying to type LOL. <laughs> no, I meant the kick sample. Oh. 
Wow, they, they pitched the kick really low in this song. I don't know why they did that, but I'm going to have to figure that out now, how to find it in the actual preset. So it's like Renato, it's like another snare situation now, where I have to find a low kick now. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, I think that's the one. I don't know, Renato, what do you think? That way till the delay gets to him. So, Chris, what do you think about the Republican National Convention? I don't think about it. <laughs> it's like... It's like a bunch of Republicans all in one room. How many Republicans does it take to do in the long haul? Probably just one, to be honest. Well... So Seattle seized, basically, by Antifa. It's that pitch. Uh, let's see.
I think I did find it. Because the other one has too much of a reverb. Okay, I think it's... I think it's F sharp. I think it's the one on F sharp, because this one... Either G or F. I think it's F. Because the pitch sounds lower. Yeah, I th I'm pretty sure it's this one. Because the other one has too much reverb on it. It has like too much. Which one sounds weak? The one on F? Or the one on G? Or do you think this one sounds better? The one on... The one on A? So this one's A. G or F sharp. So this is F. Again, this is G. I just changed it. And all the way up here is A sharp. So A sharp, G, or F sharp. Yeah, so it's either A sharp, G, or F sharp. I'm thinking the one on, like, I think it's F sharp. Because, yeah, I like, I kind of like the one on A sharp, but the problem is it has too much of that reverb to it. And kicks usually don't want to have too much reverb on it. So, I'm thinking F-sharp. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. F-sharp, let's see. Which one did I have again? Yeah, I did have F-sharp already. Yeah, okay, so I'm using this one. So, did the kick have me over the mainstream? No, just, just the straight panning. Just not too much of a panning, so we're just gonna copy it anyways. Alright, so, last one now is the, the bass. <laughs> I'm just going to use a slap bass style. Copy all this.
Whoa, whoa, I didn't want that. Oh, I love that bass. And it matches along with the guitar because it has that galloping effect. So... Yeah, I could listen to that alone. Okay, so no panning. Okay, now let me add um, what we usually add our snares. My saturation up. As let's give it some chorus as well, but not too much. and we want to make it the same volume as the snares. Okay, um, Tom, we, uh, yeah. Kick needs to be the same volume, we have that one. Why did I route the... Uh, okay, we'll just leave it like that for now. Cushion. Actually, I want to add a percussion last. <clears throat> and we're going to add our base on the bottom. So let's see one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right, so it's here all together. Oops. Uh, I think we're gonna go to bed, dude. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, see you. Godspeed. Good night, Ronaldo.
Okay, so. Saturate a little bit. Those, uh, those stabs, those synth stabs, that where it goes bananas a bit. I want to see if they're in the right place. Nope, they were dragging. Do something was off with them. All right. I want to work on this one.
Okay, so those stabs are really not supposed to be also be audible as well, just like in the uh, just below the hearing range, basically. Okay. That's what you're saying. Still with the chair noise. That chair noise, I think, is with that snare, how it sounded like that, you know, where that where it sounds like too high, where you're like sitting in the chair or something, is that what you're talking about? You know, you play a snare front way when you're sitting too high on the seat or something. Uh but yeah, it was um I got the, the whole dragging, you know, reference, but but not the seat height. I didn't get I kinda didn't understand that. Uh, do the snare with volume increase? Yeah, I think they do. Yeah, I fixed the frequency on that synth.
Oh yeah, I get what scene you're talking about. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Alright, so let me um save it. Um and let's I'm gonna go get a snack and I'll come back and do we can begin routing through TSAR. Um I'm do getting a little bit of lagging again, so you know, hopefully nothing happens.
and I'm back. <clears throat> I think someone's calling me on Discord. So, Omar, um, yeah, just so you know, I'm streaming, I'm streaming right now, so you're kind of live on YouTube. So I'm what the fuck? I'm yeah. I'll let you know whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, just know you're going to try to get me banned. Anyway, here's my, uh, YouTube link. Okay. Where's the go? Yeah, I'm just streaming, uh, remastering music, so, um, I got a buddy in there named Renato, so, you know, he's in there typing in, um, you know, in the chat. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, I'm the only one here who also speaks Spanish. I don't know, Ronaldo. Who was pestering you about the Doom game? Uh, the Doom new do yeah, the Doom games. It was that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I was like, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it was Chris or not, but um, you know, um, <clears throat> I could see Chris doing that. Probably. Obviously, without consent, but you know, yeah, mind. yeah. Consent was never a part of the equation. Yeah, Renato, this is my buddy Omar. He's one of my other friends, so, you know. Just see you guys trips on demand, don't worry about me. Oh, no, Omar. Actually, having you is quite nice company, so. How flirtatious of you. Yeah, if you want to fuck, you can, uh, yeah. You don't even need to ask. Just wink. <laughs> All right. Mega Man's um, uh, thingy right now? What? What are you doing right now with the Mega Man thingy? I am remastering a soundtrack, a uh, music theme. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay, then let us and try this on for size. Problem solving. On the cloud. Okay, so <clears throat> the drums. Do I have 20% on the reverb? Yeah, yeah, it's all 20%. Well, that is too much reverb. Okay, I turn it down. What did you say, Omar? Uh, why is it 90% of the shit on the internet has to just be a pain in the ass and you just have to try and do your best to get this shit to work? Uh... I don't know. Why is um the universe in a turtle shape? Are you saying God's a turtle? Yeah, he might be. Let's see what not. Let's see what we're not to the same. But what would? How would? Wait. Wait a sec. Does that mean turtles are God? Yeah. You know, it's like Stephen King. You know, he predicted that. He predicted it, basically. So is Stephen King God? He might be God. Is he a turtle? I mean, how else would he translate all of these, uh, his books into multiverse? You know? So Stephen King is the multiverse. Yeah, like, the Dark Tower? The Dark Tower actually has a whole bunch of universe is connected to it including our planet you know and um become... yeah okay, so what the fuck first things first what the fuck is the dark tower the dark tower in stephen king's universe is uh 
sent is like a tower that connects all of the uh, universes together, and the tower is actually held up by the turtle named Matarin, and he's the god of the you know the multiverse, the universe. So we're not so we're not talking about Zelda. No. <laughs> This is some, like, real Scientology shit where they take your cash and then rub their throbbing <laughs> cock into your asshole and tell you this is science. or performing science. Uh, is, this, is this what you're doing to me right now? Yeah. <laughs> God, I hope they don't ban Why my channel. I hope they don't ban my channel. Uh, For what? But... What the fuck did you do? I know, right? Well, you know, YouTube and their censorship crap. Yeah, go tell YouTube they can suck a fat cock. <laughs> Why should you care? <laughs> this is a free America. My America. I think I just scared Renato. I think I just scared Renato off. He's not typing. <laughs> oh shit! No, there you go. He's gone. We had to actually, put him down. Actually, he's still in here. There's like one view, concurrent viewers on, or maybe that's you, Omar. I don't know. But no, that's not, that's not me. Okay, that's for Nato. At the very least, he muted me in his head, so I can say I've won by at least a slight degree. So, yeah. Give me some head. Head some head. He's a creepy healing game. <laughs> it is time. It is time. And as to why anyone even watches hand hand tie. Okay, he's still here. Good. <clears throat> Want to say that again? You ever sit down and actually crunch your ball sack? Uh, accidentally, yeah, one time. Hurt like hell. I mean, it's our ball sack. It's our vulnerable yeah. position. Starting to sound pretty good to me. Yeah, I think this is where it's turning into the stream to uh, see how this is going. Out of pure curiosity at this point. Oh, Xavier, I got you something about that. Yeah. There you go. 
to do it. Hold on a second. <laughs> hey Omar, are you there? Yep, still here. So we were earlier in the stream, me and Renato and Chris were talking about the Wolfenstein, you know, Young Blood, that really shitty one. And Renato, uh, he typed in Young Cunt. Dude, that's, that's all it's about. You're just pretty much going in for just quality Polish American jail bait. That's it. He just yeah, said, I'm looking for yeah. any meaningful experience. Any just, chad like behavior, just, just looking at two yeah. quality pussy, go at it and just kill Nazis. That's all you do. <laughs> and they're trying to be funny or be slightly amusing in that uh, sense, but in doing so, they strip themselves of their own character. Bethesda played themselves. Yep. Yeah, you know they should have done. They should have made it two sun. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Instead of Instead killing, of killing all Blastwitz, Blastwitz. Finally, finally, this time, in all honesty, but still, still. Bad, bad timing. Wait, they didn't kill off the Blastwitz. Is Blastwitz not dead in the young one? No. Oh, he actually, one day. Yeah, he's still alive. He actually, um, and you want me to spoil young blood? I'll spoil it. It doesn't look like I'm gonna play a game where it's right. just females all over the place. So, <laughs> the end of Young Blood, um, the girls help infiltrate Blaskowitz into the Nazi compound in Paris, and they so find it. This straight. You said the girls infiltrate Blaskowitz. <laughs> yes. No, they help. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Oh, okay. So at the end of the game, Blaskowitz comes out of this uh, portal with a device, and he claims. He says that to the girls, you know, I was in another dimension where the Allies won World War II and the Nazis didn't take over. Which basically the developers were hinting at our dimension, basically. And that he was there. And I'm like, okay. You know what vibe I'm getting off of this right now? That his daughter just cocked Blaskowitz. Yep. <laughs> they, br they pretty much was just in heaven. It wasn't even a dream. And they brought him back to hell. <laughs> Fucking apple. Yeah, it's like... It's like he was in, um... Yeah, he, like he was enjoying himself in a Nazi-free dimension. And all of a sudden, he just, he just came back. And he's like, girls, I found another world. Another dimension where the war didn't happen. Where the war didn't happen. You don't have to experience all this. But the thing is, it didn't conclude with them trying to resolve how to bring that timeline. But to here's Earth. my fucking. But how does that even fucking work? How can you bring a timeline to another timeline? It's called a timeline. You're not. Yeah, you're not I don't know. Together. Yeah, it's like, how did Blastoise travel there? That's the thing. He used like this cube thing. I have to refresh my memory how he did it, but it was just. I weird. know. He jumped. <laughs> Where Nato's like, they ruined the timeline. How will Doom Guy exist now? Oh, Doom Guy? Yep, yeah, because you know, Doom Guy is supposed to be like, um, well, the internet, the fan base is claiming that Doom Guy is actually the son or grandson of Blaskowitz. A relative of Blaskowitz, basically. Uh, so, first things first, uh, I don't know. Because they're, one, really far in the future. That's one. Two, uh, the whole concept of Doom Guy was he got, it's it's just, he, he, he's just angry. Very simply put, he's very angry. Very angry person. Because his son was betrayed and killed after he made a deal with a demon to help bring his son back. And letting the death of that one, like, you know, bitch, and uh, just one thing led to another, and now he's angry and wants to kill every demon 
and hell, period, end of story. In Doom Eternal, you can hear his voice, actually. He actually speaks. Oh. Yeah. But just short lines, like, he doesn't actually carry, like, a sentence. Oh, he says words. So he... He's like, demons! Demons, there must kill demons. And he says something about, like, their guts. Or something like that. Then he says some other bullshit in a later cutscene, which I can't remember, but that's all he just is, like... Demons so he's a must gym. kill. Kind of like that. It's weird. So he's a literal chimp. Uh, <laughs> hell of a oh, way to make a character extremely detailed. Nice, nice shit, CA. Or yeah. Bethesda. Nice shit. Nice. You, you did an excellent job. You, you, you cocked yourself. And more importantly, you turned a very interesting character into a bitch. So... Oh, okay, Renato's saying, okay, he's saying, he got angry because by the end of episode 3 of Original Doom, the demons killed his rabbit, Daisy. I'm sure as to the validity of that. <laughs> but I'll no. take your word for it. And actually, the Doom Slayer in Doom Eternal is actually Original Doom guy, as evident by his helmet. When the night sentinels caught him out in the outskirts of hell, and um, or the something night, like that. Night supposed to be his, aren't the night sentinels actually supposed to be his bro? Yeah, they actually um joined um you know, I think um you know their group, and then the sentinels were actually part of I think the not uh, what's the uh. The species, Renato, what was the species name of the Endoom Eternal, you know, where you killed the boss? Um, you know, they were supposed to be like these uh, aliens or something. I forgot their name. But anyways, this group, you know, yeah, what Doom were they protecting? Doom Eternal? Actually, in the whole Doom series, what were they protecting? Do okay, so Doom, so Doom guy was part of this 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 alien, you know, this alien civilization who fought with, who you know, fought with um, Hell along with other, you know, not with Hell, but fought, you know, mm -hmm. alongside these other races to you know protect themselves from Hell when they discovered Hell. But when in actually the leaders of the civilization, you know what they did. They discovered the Argent energy from hell, and they, they decided to use it for their own means. At the expense of um, planet Earth and, you know, human lives and all that shit. So it's like, yeah. Earth was being invaded by demons. And the priests of hell, the hell priests, were actually the um, indoctrinated members of the, um, oh, I think the con con mayor. Yeah, the con mayor. That that was the um the civilization. So the con mayor basically were using hell's energy for their own means. You know, fuck the humans. Fuck everybody. And Doom Guy was like, you know, he was pissed, so he was not gonna have that shit, so he killed the leader of the con mayor and then he killed the uh icon of sin at the end of Doom Eternal. Because the, the icon of sin was what powered hell? I kind of said, yeah, there was actually like this, like this head or something, like this very powerful demon lord or something. I don't know, he was he was one of the demon lords. And you yeah, kill him yeah. at, yeah, like, you know. <laughs> some dude with horns or some shit. <clears throat> okay. So now the icon of sin is dead. Yep, he's dead. And Doom Eternal saved Earth, but here's the kicker. The con maker, the civilization actually had a god or a deity named the father and when you killed one of their leaders in a boss fight you can hear a voice going like no you know like this really like really fucking angry and shit which you know we haven't seen this character you know in the doom eternal 
he was only mentioned. So if they do a sequel, they might men- uh, they, he might make an appearance or some shit. How does he tie into hell? Well, we have to find out. Who is actually the leader of hell? We don't know. A lot of people claim it's Lucifer, Satan, but hell, and you know, in the Doom universe, hell has many leaders. So, you know. Hell seems to be a genuine world versus a you know, king. So. Yeah. Yep. Hell is actually, in the Doom universe, hell is actually a chaotic world. Which many factions and um, priests and, you know, um, lots of infighting as well. Okay, so let me listen to this one more time. Um... I think that sounds pretty good. I think it's done, y'all. So in case if Renato has any objections, I'm going to export this now. Into Mexico. Bye-bye, old raw version. Hello, new polished version. By the way, um, Omar, you ever see a Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares? Uh, is that where he goes around beating women? <laughs> he goes to various... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. And, like, right... <laughs> <laughs> like, um, okay, he visits these, like, restaurants and basically rips into the chefs and shit like that on, how, on their shitty-ass cooking and practices and shit like that. So it's domestic violence. <laughs> yeah. Like he's like he's like a you know this world renowned chef who, you know they make a reality show out of him going to restaurants and shit and he's just like, tasting their food you know seeing how they run shit, and then you know he's always like you know like, criticizing them and shit and just ripping them apart basically. So, legal domestic violence. Ah, uh, well, not really, unfortunately. Illegal domestic violence. No. Yes, now, mind you, the guy is British. So. Mm. Or Australian, I don't know. He has, an, he has an accent. Either British or Australian. He, I don't know. I'm thinking he's kind of Australian. I don't know. Renato, is Gordon Ramsay British or Australian? Or a hybrid? He's a hybrid. He... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Omar. YouTube will not YouTube will not let Renato type sin. It, it 
it blocks him from typing sin, you know, S I N. It only only let him type <laughs> it only let him type it with the S Y N. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, Gordon Ramsay is British. There you go. Uh, ay, ay, ay. Well, it's late, so I'm gonna end this stream. I'm still gonna be here, but I'm gonna end the stream. Mm -hmm. And I will continue tomorrow. You finished, didn't you? With the song, yeah, I finished. Well, that's one thing off the shoulders. Oh. Alright, well, that's it for the stream, y'all. See you guys later. Ta-ta. <laughs>